So anyways, uh, I woke up this morning and I come across this video on YouTube and I really wish my channel would have been a political channel, but they probably would have uh, uh, come after me and shut my, down my channel. But since I have a trading channel, I don't think and I'm not I'm not monetizing my channel unless if you see any ads on my channel, it's only because I play, I posted copyright material and that causes the the, uh, the YouTube platform to immediately uh, you know uh, say, oh well, you you're gonna owe somebody there, and I don't mind that. We were talking about owing people the other day i don't mind if you run advertising on my video because i owe you because i did an action and now i owe you so this idea and i was pretty triggered by talking to people that think that somehow that life is one huge hospital and that you um people owe you because you exist and the person that killed 49 people or the persons whatever or <laughs> the people that want to think that this was some staged event to grab guns no this is just mother nature they're not stop hunting your fucking humans at the mosque there are a lot of parallels between trading and in real life um, chaos like this this is the black swan event. This is the, um, you know, this is it, right? This is the thing that nobody expects. But then, of course, you know, the shooting that happened in Las Vegas where a guy got into a hotel room. With the logic that these people have in the government, and how do you get to be in the government? How do you get to that level who wants that gig i mean is it to uh be a hero and have people follow your great ideas if you only did it my way see i told you i fair i grew up in a, with any i see i told you people but holy god the road to hell is paved with good intention. Oh, and the feelings. Oh, I feel for you. You know, I didn't even cry when I saw this. You may think I'm a cold person. I'm not. I'm very sensitive to goodness. I like to promote goodness. Nothing can offset what uh, a person can do when they want to kill somebody. It is not the gun people. It is not your mouse clicker that's making you lose money in the market. And I hate to make these kind of uh, bizarre analogies, but you should see the thought process of the comments in here. I responded pretty heavily to quite a few people. I don't know if they're going to um, flag me because I use the F word quite a bit. <laughs> but holy God in heaven. And the, the, the fucking title on here. Now, now, you could take this both ways. When I saw this, I'm going to tell you right off, I have a bias to what I see now, and I can see it like, wow. I mean, you'd have to wait till 5 o'clock at night, Eastern Standard Time, to find out what the fuck was going on. Now, you just if you have a tablet or you have a Android with you or a Linux, you could go on Twitter if you have a Twitter account and go, motherfuckers. And now you're kind of skirting the thing where I'll oh, using swear words and talking. It's too soon, too soon. No jokes about the killings. Okay, dude, I don't know these people that died. Maybe that's why I'm not crying. Duh. But can we just think, are we getting dumber? Is, we, is this the dumbing? Are people just, okay, maybe it's the crowd, right? The, uh, what do they say? The masses are asses. There's a lot of great. Um, rhyming comments about how okay there's safety in numbers but let's not forget that nobody like Steve Jobs or even dare I say um, Bill Gates they don't ask for people's permission to have a fucking creative thought is it okay I have a thought I don't know are you ready for the thought tax talking to this uh, dare I say socialist statist um, communist uh, people 
that you will encounter in your life. And it's funny. Um, so this girl here on the left, who is hotter than shit the more I look at her, I love when you comb your hair so it looks like you use baby oil. And then you got it really tight in the back because I can just, the, the, the reason why it's hot that she has her hair pulled back is because when she lets it go, it'd be like, wow, you're getting crazy, baby. <laughs> let's, let's party. Now, the guy on the right, this is like better than the Saturday Night Live guy that was, the, and he is a black guy, I think, I don't know, New Zealand. But could this girl in the life, what, I, she's got white privilege and hot privilege all day long, and she's using it to leverage, and I'm, I'm sorry, but the title. New Zealand Prime Minister. And I'm like, Prime Minister? That's cool. She's like, she's not like, okay, Minister. She's, did she prime cut a beef here? Our gun laws will change. Now, why did I not think that she meant, oh, I got it. <laughs> no, hold on. We're going to issue a starter firearm to every able-bodied motherfucker above the age of 18. And dear citizens, just like we're going to go hunt for the missing puppy dog up the tree, um, that's right, people. We're going to power ourselves. We're not going to lean on each other. We're not going to have communal um wells that we drink out of and hope that nobody now there was also the uh it's funny this guy year old dollar was talking about the um infamous broken window theory now these are the kind of logic the logic loops that people get caught in it's it'd be like if you wanted to play chess with somebody and they just kept opening and go i resigned they, they do like five moves i resign five moves i resign i'm like dude could you get to the fucking point are you going to play the game or aren't you you're alive Let's say let's just do an Ayn Rand uh, assessment of reality. You're alive metaphysically. Then things that are alive, the fact things matter because you're alive. You're, that's your first starting premise, right? Where do you go from there? Okay, you have money in your account. You are alive. You have money in your account. Well, gosh, I don't know. I mean, is it? You know, it's kind of risky. So of course, let's be so fucking scared out of our minds. That not only do we have a, we don't have a starter gun. In fact, don't be making a fist. I'm sure there's going to be a time when, hey, I think I, no, he was holding a pen. He wasn't making a fist. Oh, I see violence on the horizon. Let's nip it in the bud. Let's, let's take all the weaponry, you know, those, let's just make sparks for everyone. Because, you know, forks are kind of dangerous, but a spark, come on, I'm just claiming it's a spoon, dude. What's happened to people? And it just goes on and on. There's a super hot girl who's wearing a bulletproof vest. And I'm like, I have nothing against that kind of setup, but I want the guy in the right. I want him with a gun. And I'm going to trust him. Like I trust a doctor who cuts me the fuck open on a goddamn hospital bed in my Medicare, Medicaid, whatever fucking lean on the goddamn pile of shit and put private creative people out of business. Oh, well, we just have like this group thing. We got a think tank, dude. We'd really thought this out. What was going to do? <sighs> well, first let's get a furnace so we can melt the guns. Why aren't people talking about the bullets? God damn it. That's position sizing there, dude. You may have a mouse to pull off these dumb trades where you where you destroy people. But position sizing. What's the caliber? And how big is the account? How many rounds do you Oh well we'll limit the rounds. He won't overtrade that mask with his It's so funny. And so here we are. What's next, people? I, I really, you know, what's next? And the fact they blame it on Trump is so hysterical. I'm like, dude, really? This is like, well, you know, I got in that car crash because about five miles down the road, there was this really hot girl that distracted me that I couldn't see. I was just drove into a Paul officer. So... 
Oh my God, I'm so pissed off. So I thought I'd vent on YouTube. <laughs> I saw our gun laws will change. And the, the romantic side of me thought, yeah, they're going to fucking start like <laughs> learning people how to learn in the shape of how to use a gun properly. So that if some fucking douche cunt out of nowhere starts his first bullet pull off, and I assess the danger, or as the government would say, what do they have a name for it? It's the most clinical description of a shooter in the world. I can't remember. And I'm like, oh, God. Can I be the hero? Does this chick on the left, the communal hero, with white privilege and fucking tight ass pulled back hair privilege? And I love the fact that she's got that piping on her vest lapel very hot no cleavage but very nice um she makes me want to throw up guy on the right he should be running the country that's <laughs> i'm just putting it out there okay so and apparently i don't it looks like a british flag behind me i'm not really i'm gonna tell you right now i'm 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 uh, I'm logical, but I'm I'm unknowledgeable. So that's my only uh, the uh, I would say discrepancy is that I don't know everything. I'm just gonna act like I landed on the planet and this is how I'm assessing shit. We now want to take you to Wellington, New Zealand, where the country's prime minister. Is I really just think, but I I think gun laws change means <sighs> that if I just push harder on the string, somehow. The balloon will go faster. Mm, I got it. Is addressing the deadly mask shooting. Let's go ahead and listen in. Here or in Australia. In her, her accent. I, I'm in love. And as I said last night. But I like the way she really gets wide on her mouth to really kind of lay into those consonants. They were not on any what. Any. I mean, that must be, they must do like a lot. Of, they, they're, that's why she has those fucking great cheeks. Watch lists either here or in Australia. Well, how neutral. It's like she's reading the, like I was hired to be a monotone, um, bland, hot girl. I want to be very clear though. Yeah. That our intelligence community and our intelligence community notice the word community comes up look communistic and mache there <laughs> police are focused on extremism they're focused on extremism not the possibility that you could blow up a mosque like you blew up your trading account now look at you i told you no large caliber in such a small building. It's almost like one guy in the, in the comments said, yeah, you could take some propane tanks in there and go, well, we're just here for the, the buffet. Ba-boom. But these guys that shot this over were pussies. They don't want to die. They just wanted to shoot it and sit back and take the glory like Jesse Smollett. Oh, look at me. I'm so important. And, you know, my career is based on being important. What a wonderfully moralistic, ethical thing to do. I mean, it's so great that Hollywood exists so you can just be like, I show, what's your talent? I showed up. I'm the most unique styled person. I am like, and you know, I get that you have to be a carny to pay the bill sometimes, that you have to go out there and be a goof fuck. But what's funny here is the guy on the right is authentically, he went to goddamn hand signal school, dude. It looks like he's trying to play drums. He went to hand signal school. And I have a lot of gallows humor about this situation here. Sorry. Of every kind. I mean, this is something that every two and a half seconds, there's a punchline on the skin, right? Given global indicators around far. Oh, shit. Given global indicators. Now, notice I'm using, well, she's got to use stochastics. Kind. Given global indicators around as like, well, if you look at the Dow Jones index, you could see this fucking thing coming. I told you the Dow Jones was going through the roof. This is what's going to trigger it. Far right extremism. Oh, is that like an unfair value? Oh, that's a hot look right there. She looks like coming after you. She's coming after you, Genj. 
she's a gun grabber. Look at her. The guy on the right's like, oh shit. Our intelligence. Oh, I like that peace sign he did. He's, he's actually, if he really, what he's really doing, everybody knows what the guy on the right, it's obviously, he's hand signaling to the fucking left people. He's going, it's going to be okay. Community he has been stepping up. The she said community. Can I, well, can we play the drinking game? Community. You know, the individuals could never uh, be nearly as sophisticated as I am and defend themselves and learn how to maybe uh, actually jump on some other fucker. You know, you actually, this is so funny. It's illegal to wear Kevlar in some places. How dare you protect yourself from our bullets? You're invested. I mean, the government's bullets, because, you know, ours are certified and we double checked them and they cost extra. Allegations in this area. Area. That's what I'm talking about. Area. Listen, you're in my area. I appreciate it if you step out of my area. These motherfuckers. Oh, now look at he's using the sympathy. He's actually working his eyebrows. No, he didn't just go to Han uh, speak school. He went to eyebrow speak school. And this guy has got some fucking moves. He literally does a shoulder like, like some pissed off black chick. The individual charged with murder had not come to the attention of the intelligence community. And how intelligent is this community? Again, the drinking game people just don't do shots of fucking uh, Stolish Shania 100 proof. Nor the police for extremism. I extremism. Oh, okay. You have to take um, a two to blow every time she says extreme <laughs> extremism. I have asked our agencies this morning to work swiftly on assessing with Swiftly. <laughs> You mean you mean my swift uh, uh, withdrawal hasn't come through yet? Is what she's signaling to all the forex traders there? That there was any activity. Any? Oh, was she lays into this any or any? Oh, uh. And I think she's actually signaling to the sheeple because it's e i e i o. It's it's the sheeple. She's signaling the sheeple, obviously. And the guy on the right is like, oh my, I can't believe I got this gig. And he he sold out for this gig. He, and apparently he's doing well because look at he's gained a little bit of weight. He's eating at better restaurants. He's eating more. Uh, you know the king's food on social media or otherwise that and when he does that bob and weave shit in the social media once again uh notice the hint uh, there she's whistling to the socialists i'm on your page baby socialism uh community communism statism yeah let's just lean on everybody let's everybody lean on everybody because i, I can't get my shit together no, no, I can't. I don't have an original thought. No, I'm just, you know, actually, I'm just, my head's in the soup of the matrix. Should have triggered a response. Trigger. Bitch, I'm so triggered this morning looking at this fucking pathetic shit. Now she's leaning. I'm going to do the body language bullshit. This chick that thinks she's a body language, I'll tell you what's going on here, buddy. She does the lean to the side. She has to sit on one foot because now she's, she's like, what I'm about to tell you. That was the wind-up. Here comes the pitch. That work is already underway. I knew it. We have your best interest at heart. You can rest assured we're doing everything we can. And what's going to happen later is they're going to bring out the whole, the ugly pack. Unless these chicks are going to get hotter, I'll be tuned in. They're going to bring out the ugly, and they're going to say, I want to thank chief fucknut over here i want to i want uh Sh shaquella here our latest um politically correct profiled hire uh we have want to thank over here um colonel fucknut and the fucknutteries yep they're the warm-up band you know because you know how the i guess the war and, and the civil war here they had like snare drums and shit they triumphantly marched into battle kicking out some paradiddles and flams and it was incredible right today as the country grieves <sighs> and but i'm grieving for a different reason that this should even fucking be happening come on people take your fucking head out of your ass new zealanders and the new zealanders are like it's our country get the fuck out talk about talk about statist i mean talk about nationalists right oh, our little countries just, well you don't even know where we're at you americans can't even, i can't find in the fucking map dude you're the smallest fucking most liberal you remind me of if you could have a city that was liberal this is the island version of that think about it people this is new york city of the planet i don't want to sound like benjamin here but think about it people 
This little fucking country is so goddamn important that it's a currency goddamn pair that's almost liquid. It's the very edge of the Forex market. And they talk about, well, Australia has the gun lock. We'll compare. Uh, well, what's the, I wonder what New Zealand, Aus, Australia currency pair is doing. That's going to be a good trade. Oh, for, for, let's trade fundamentals on that. It's trying to make some money. And don't you feel guilty for making money? Cause, yeah, I knew how that gun law was going to. Uh, that's another thing. Imagine you're making money from fundamental news like this. This is like, uh, like I say, um, using the Nazi experiment data as your latest uh, PhD uh, to get your PhD in school. Uh, what I did was I hacked into the uh, archives of uh, Jesus fucking Christ. We are seeking answers. I've got, call me, babe. I have it. I have the pre-answer. Don't put the trade on. Nobody's going to put that trade on, dude, where they're going to fucking shoot people up and not kill themselves. Now, that's staying in the trade. He didn't stop himself out. He sh These motherfuckers should stop themselves out, and I'm pro-suicide all fucking day long because you fear that out of your fucking mind. Take yourself out first. I want to speak specifically about the firearms used. Specifically. She's going for the... Now she wants to speak about the tool. I So a guy drives around mowing people down with his car. When do they get on the news and go, I would like to speak about the torque, horsepower, cubic inchage. Those damn five mile an hour impact bumpers. bumpers. If we just had nerf bumpers on the front and back of the car actually the whole fucking thing around like a volvo airbags on the side let's do that people i'm for that no amount of taxation could ever measure up to the self-sacrifice i would feel just so good about everybody being so safe <laughs> in this terrorist act Okay, dude, I, 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 know, I know people want to use this terrorism thing. Dude, it's not terrorism. It's not evil. It is a person that is, that is without, your, without your permission, deleting you from the earth to never come back. Nope, no backup drive, buddy. Unless you want to, unless you could upload yourself to the Kurzweil, so uh, Kurzweil uh, flash drives in the sky. You know, it's pretty sad. It's just so fucking sad. I can't even fucking take it. I'm advised that there were five guns used by the primary perpetrator. The, oh, she used the alliteration notice there. The primary perpetrator. Peter Piper picked the pep of fucking idiot goddamn fucking goobers run. And now we're going to cut to, in the side, the hot chick on the right, I think, who's, oh, I feel safe. I think it, was maybe, it could be all chick department. Who knows what's next, people? We're going to lean on the drones because we can't trust humans. Everything's going to an app. I got a drone app for fucking terrorism I just released. Takes the fucker out when he has a terrorist thought. There were two semi-automatic weapons. The girl on the right's hotter. But there's some New Zealand fucking hairstyle. Pull that hair back, oil it down. I would stop for her. I'm, I'm going to tell you, I'm definitely... I'm triggered. If she says, don't blow up this mask. Okay, babe. And what's with these vests they're wearing? You think I can't blow your fucking arm off? Like that's not going to distract you? And two shotguns. Oh, God. She's, she's gorgeous. Um, And this is the pretty, they filmed, uh, supposedly filmed um, Lord of the Rings here. It's this gorgeous place to live. It's New York City of the planet.
offender was in possession of a gun license. I mean, San Francisco, the planet, sorry, <laughs> fucked that up. I'm advised that this was acquired in November of 2017. Don't tell us how to live. So she's going to give us when the guns are acquired. I wish they would have stayed full screen. But this is just fucking ridiculous, man. It's just ridiculous. Why are we going through this all the time? It's just once. It's just like, can you imagine a guy in Vegas who could have returned fire? He's like, dude, got. got he's like, nailed it. Okay, let's go on with the concert. Three dead. A lever action firearm was also found. <sighs> now, whether they're legal or illegal. Now, let me go back to the car murder incident. He drove down the sidewalk at 100 miles an hour in his car because he, you know, works on outlaw high horsepower, high torque cars. I think we figured out how to solve that problem. I mean, what what could possibly, um, I, I forgot what she had. In 17, a lever action firearm was also found. We found that he didn't have a driver's license. Now, this may surprise a lot of people. Not only did he have a full auto transmission where he didn't have to shift, he literally held the fucking throttle down and killed 380 people. Hm. It's amazing. And he didn't even take drivers. He did, it's his first time in a car. Not only did he not have a license, <sighs> didn't even know how to drive. While work is being done as to the chain of events that led to both the holding of this gun license and the possession of these weapons, I can weapons. tell you one thing right now. Our gun laws will change. <sighs> She's firm on that. She never changes her monotone. She didn't, you know, Trump, people love Trump because he's like, let me tell you something. Are you listening? Let me, let me tell you something. There have been attempts to change our laws in 2005. And since we weren't able to do that, because we can't find enough people to, to, to just join our community. 2012 and after an inquiry in 2017. Now is the time for change. You're going to have to add some hope to that change, baby, or I'm just not going to buy this fucking bullshit you're selling me. And the guy on the right's like, he's, he just he scored a goal, babe. Look at, he, he's doing the goal. He's actually translating old school hand language. There are obviously questions being asked of how this person was able to enter the country and undertake this act of terror. So, another problem is we had no idea that people are just coming into our house and killing people. Like your house is like your country, right? Do you have a door in your house? Yes. Okay. That's why you put up a border wall. You're like, okay, dude. You know, you're starting to get on my nerves. I keep breaking in, eat my food, come home. Or you have a roommate you hate. Maybe your roommate's pissing you off. Dude, she haven't bought any food, and I noticed you're just scarfing on my food like, uh, guy on the right, it's like, uh, but yeah, a guy came in the country, it's like, it's crazy. When does that ever happen? Okay, <laughs> I just can't believe the balls of this fucker just coming into our country. Like, he said he was on vacation and everything. I have instructed, instructed Odess to report to Cabinet on Monday on this sequence of events with a view to strengthening our systems on a range of fronts, including but not limited to firearms, border controls, enhanced information sharing with Australia, and any practical reinforcement of our watch list processes. <sighs> because you people... Trust us to protect you. Yeah. That's working really well. I want to come now to what people can expect over the course of the day and beyond. The safety is more 
Now, this is where it gets hysterical. People of our country, what we're going to do is we're going to be super vigilant right now, all day long. We're on high alert because obviously this is an outbreak. Do people really think this is going to happen in three hours? Have you ever seen, where in the fucking history of this shit have you ever seen other than maybe Britain where there was like uh, 30 minutes between explosions at like the uh, the shooting in the uh, the uh, nightclub where people were um, listening to some band I really don't remember the name of, some heavy metal band. And I think there was another kind of orchestrated thing, right? But even at that, people aren't armed. And now that your team's over here, and all your resources over here. That's the old trick. We've seen movies on that plot. Here, blow up something here, and then we'll just go over there and really fuck something up. Of New Zealanders. What a gorgeous, look at these trees. What a gorgeous place. Is our highest priority. New Zealand police. <sighs> is that a new hot chick, or is that the same one? How many chicks are on the force? I'm moving to New Zealand, dude. I want to get arrested. Remain on high alert. Christ Mercedes. <laughs> Dude, no, I understand why people to this fucking New York City of the planet. Residents are strongly urged to stay home if possible. Not me. I'm going to get a squirt gun and mock the... I'm going to see if I get in trouble today. I got an idea. I'm going to fucking get magic marker and close off that orange tip on my, my squirt gun. I'm, I'm just going to go out and like tease some police today. Yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a fucking high-bred sheep. And stay safe. Please. <sighs> I feel so safe. And everybody shows up for this. Dude. I mean, you really think? I like how everybody cashes in. Hey, Jed, are you going out to the shooting? You bet I am. You think I don't want to be like not doing my job? Please monitor the police website and social media for further information. If you see something suspicious, then please call 111 immediately. <sighs> I wonder if that works in the States. Can I call 111 and be transferred to New Zealand? Yes, I'd like to report an incident. I just had my brain molested. The logic section of my brain molested by this broadcast. Immediately. A number of events are being held across the country today, and there will be an increased police presence. Yeah, that ought to fucking calm things down. <laughs> what are you doing over there, son? You look suspicious. You got terrorism on your mind. Police have additional patrols out on the streets of Christchurch to reassure the community. I'm moving there, dude. <laughs> you mean this girl's going to be <laughs> driving around? They have flown in 45 additional police staff to Christchurch, with a further 80 staff arriving today. The additional police staffing includes public safety teams, detectives, tactical specialists, and intelligence support. Detective special intelligence... It's not like one word. So, these poor people, I mean, they're, they're so adorable. They don't get it. They overgot it. It's so sad. Staff from other DHBs have offered support as required. Yeah, they're going to get it. Oh, offers. Oh, come, come over there and... And this is the only thing the government's really good at, to be honest with you, is they're going to offer safe spaces to people. And I think that's actually the only purpose of government is to go, you know what? Come here. Call the suicide hotline, please. So what the government should be doing is they should be hiring more uh, psychologists and psychiatrists and uh, well they, they give out drugs and what they should also do is hand out starter guns to people 
I don't think guns are going away. Is it just me? Do you think people are going to stop driving cars? Well, no, maybe we should make a smart car that can perceive... Well, somebody may take an old car and drive it down the sidewalk, granted, right? Somebody may take an old bazooka and an old discontinued war um, M16... What is it called? An M whatever? Military weapon? AR means assault rifle, you know. Get a shotgun. <laughs> Joe, get a... Sh Joe says, get a shotgun. And so here we are. Unfucking believable. So, yeah, uh, a very sad situation. And I, I really think they should uh, get people used to the idea that guns ain't going away. Let's embrace, embrace a gun. Hug a gun today. Gun's a tool. Keeps you free. Or, I mean, let's face it. There's three things you can do with a gun. Well, I'd say four maybe. You can kill an animal and eat it. You can kill another person. You can kill yourself. Or you can kill somebody to save another person. And how is it that the people that are um, running the show, they've been elected because men love hot women. Yes, people. That's the problem here. If this girl ran in the United States, she'd win. She'd be the president of the United States. Nobody would vote for Hillary. She's not hot enough. Why do you think Kennedy won? I mean, Kennedy probably turned hetero guys gay. But here we are. Once again. But this is all they're good at. They should be training the public how to use a fucking gun. But, oh, wait a minute. Conflict of interest. If I learn you how to use a gun, then you ain't gonna need me no more. Oh, boy. Even if it's not intended, there's a there's a subconscious duty to maintain your um, your privacy and property. Everybody has something they're insecure about, and uh, some guy in the comments said that if you have a gun, you're strong. You're stronger. And guy goes, you're not any stronger. Okay, maybe not like muscle strong, like. You can punch harder, but you can punch harder if you have a gun. Presupposing you know how to use it. It's no good to have a gun that's unloaded either, by the way. Bullets are the problem, people. In fact, if I really drill down on the problem, I'm thinking it's gunpowder. <laughs> yep, that's right, gunpowder. Quiet. There will be additional support provided. Not marching powder. That's cocaine. I did in Christchurch for mental health and psychosocial needs. The only problem there is I'm a little leery of the advice I'm going to get for the for the psychosocial needs. And here we go with that social word again. So what we do here is like, let me sit you down, son, and tell you what happened today. I know you're upset. What I can offer you is, uh, would you like a Xanax to start the conversation? Let me just get you started on a quarter. Hey, Mildred, get a quarter hit of Xanax for the, for, we're, we're just going to do a little inner, we're just going to help you through this crisis, son. If anyone needs to speak to someone or. Oh my God, I do so much. Please answer the phone. If they're feeling distressed in any way. <sighs> anyway? Anyway. <laughs> Baby, I'm distressed that <laughs> this is so fucking sad. And I mean, why? Why people? I encourage Why, Stephen? you to call or text 1737. There are extra staff available. That number to call or text again is... Oh, and they keep looping this hot babe. And I'm so... This is so... And this is pathetic that the news... 
I'm sure there's an ugly babe on the force too, but no, really? Every chicken in New Zealand is this fucking hot? Talk to the hand. 737, and that line is available to anyone, whether they've been directly involved in these incidents, whether they're residents or Christchurch or not. Anyone. I think you're directly involved. Make us sitting ducks to this fucking carnage. New Zealand who's feeling any kind of distress. <laughs> and once again, any kind of distress. People, the police are aware of distressing material relating to this event being on... More distress. ...online. And are oh, more distressing material online? Oh, I forgot. What was I thinking? We're, we's on the internet, son. You don't understand. You don't understand how dangerous thinking and thoughting is in talking on the internet dangerous too i know give me some more rum give me some captain morgan over there son reminding people it is i'm upset let's drink some more an offense to distribute objectionable material i totally your honor i object i object to the uh dark color of your weapons are you trying to hide that you got a weapon is that a night weapon why aren't you using a yellow firearm so we can see at night? Why you got tint on your window, son? I want to touch. Unless you took a big, deep breath like Raymond Burr. <sighs> Briefly on activity to date and the response that occurred yesterday. So just to recap. Police immediately secured the areas involved and ensured that people were kept safe, including schools and off. Well, thank God. And that's why we pay our taxes, people, and you should too. And pay, I pay extra taxes so don't feel no guilt. Officers being locked down. Police made arrests swiftly. swift i think it took him like what 15 minutes to get there there's nothing more swift than i have a firearm i have a gun in my pocket it's all earled up and i got i'm using them liberal tears to oil my gun i got two guns and i got that little that little cute one the girls used to carry that little per that little snub nose uh dual shot like it's like a double barrel loaded pearl handle little snub nose just in case all else fails i'm gonna go full fucking steven seagal where i've got the knife in my ankle and that's the that's the uh the one that takes him out now it'd be so cool to be that guy actually now that'd be the hero real hero wouldn't it wouldn't that be the real fucking hero and as I've said, a man will appear in court this morning. Well, that ought to fix it. And if this cunt lives, it also makes me want to throw up, to be honest with you. And I, this is probably not a good thing to say. Can't we have an accidental discharge for this motherfucker? Defense specialists quickly moved to assist police to make the improvised explosive devices safe. I want to make... Oh, there was bombs too? I didn't know. I thought this was a gun issue. <laughs> they also had explosive weapons. Okay, that proves me right. Again, gunpowder is the issue. Special mention of those who are involved in both the uh, parts of the operation involving disarming explosive devices, but also undertaking the. No, it is something I would want the government to do because I don't want to do that gig. Now, there, I'm willing to pay extra taxes. I'm going to tap out on that one. All of a sudden, I became a liberal. I'm a communist all of a sudden. I hate to admit it. I'm just ashamed right now. If there's a bomb, can we get... Oh, this is where I'm also going to be a sexist and say no hot chicks are allowed to to see if the bomb's real. Rest themselves. Keep the hot chicks away from the bomb. Can we get... This is where I'm going to fat shame people. Fat people can... Wear more Kevlar and possibly endure a blast better than a skinny hot girl. 
Many of you may have seen the footage of the arrests, and I can only describe it as an act of bravery on behalf of all New Zealanders, and an act that showed very little regard for their own personal safety. Oh, praise the sex, self-sacrifice. Sure. Now we now we praise your self-sacrifice, dude. What we should do. Honestly, step up to the plate, get a starter kit, gun for your kid, god damn it. Make Johnny feel okay with guns and have respect for that they could kill you. <sighs> they could kill, they could keep somebody from killing you. And in the worst case scenario in the world that we live in, there are people committing suicide, maybe from just the utter despair of the degradation of logic and um, the cutting edge of the degradation of logic. Logic, New Zealand. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm sure everyone in New Zealand wants the acknowledgement of the police, but particularly the police officer who made that critical arrest yesterday. I also want to acknowledge ambulance staff, who uh, many will have seen acting swiftly under horrific conditions, uh, and all medical staff. Now, I'm going to say another bad thing here, people. Don't go to church. Not just because I'm an atheist. That's not my recommendation because I'm an atheist. It's because I seriously think that your, your religious signaling in a... Okay, here's another reason why you shouldn't do it. It's immoral to lean on people and ask for tax exemption because you got some fucking mystical idea about your your view on reality. That should not also. I I'm not. Gonna, I don't want to pay for your ridiculous view on reality. And you wear some fucking towel on your head. Um. I get the Amish view of life. I'm a big fan of Amish people because, um, there's been a lot of Amish movies done. I remember when they killed the Amish kids? And the Amish people are like. But no, these people in New Zealand are like, how can we possibly try to mop up this mess and make it worse? Staff who continue to work. Um we'll use a wetter mop to pick up just a slight spill. We'll wring it out while we're mopping. With those who are injured. New Zealand Defence Force at Burnham Camp yesterday were put on standby to assist police in Christchurch. Mosques around the country were provided with advice from police to help keep them secure. Yeah, shut them down, goddammit. Stop fucking showing up. Same with everybody, dude. I don't want to sound like Owen Benjamin, but... <laughs> when you're a member of a tribe... Dude, if you are seriously going to tell me I would say the same thing when I was in a band when I was a kid and the people were dressing like I would never dress even though I'm, I'm I'm a guitarist I didn't want to dress like a chick I mean the big hair dude guys that looked like they were really the first transvestite that ever existed was a, a rock star I mean these guys were like chicks you know puffed up hair very um they had threads, you know, the clothes were very important, very tailored, like this girl with the piping on her lapel. And, uh, you know, it was a different time. So, so here we are. Are we freer? And the liberals used to be the ones that said, fuck the government. Now they want the government to investigate people who have, um, like Trump, that has a benevolent 
um, motivation. And that is considered to be offensive to people that want to just chill, I suppose. I can't figure it out, honestly, because I'm a very anxious person. And if I'm not doing something productive, I actually can't have um i can't uh have a feeling i can't enjoy my life i can't have good feelings unless i'm being productive i think it's just hardwired into most people i mean even the people in north korea that uh they they don't uh, probably have a longing for freedom because the, their parents um you know, you're kind of like raised in that area, so you figure, oh, this is cool. And they probably are actually happier people because they're not um, failing at getting somewhere because they're not trying to get anywhere. So that's also another thing, uh, the failure. And this is why a lot of people will never be able to uh, trade the markets because they think that losing money is failing and that failing's bad. And that, and that murder's bad. No, um, the, somebody's going to get murdered one day. A lot of people have been murdered, but the first guy that got murdered, why didn't people at that point go, hmm, I got a situation here, what, what should you do? Um, what happened and how should we fix it? But this is the blind leading the blind. And, and it's just... And the distraction here is that people are still metaphysical, they're still going to sit and they still um, care about things being um, like the, the guy was the, the uh, uh, supposed liberal I was talking to said, um, I, I could just sense the guy was very caring. and um, But this caring has to be a, um, in, you do that with yourself. And you care about other people, and you lead by example, right? I mean, that's what I think most people would say is the ultimate. I mean, this is the Jesus uh, story is that he is um, going, look at, I'm a martyr. I died for your sins. I'm leading by example. And for what, you can make a lot about the Bible. Actually, Jesus, I could also say that Jesus, what he was doing is saying, dude, I'm going to tap out, watch this. For all sorts of reasons. And then he died. Like he took the hit. He took it for the team. That's supposed Jesus story. He took one for the team. So everybody. Okay now behave. There's so many interpretations of that. And of course let's not forget. Jesus was white. And he had straight hair parted down the middle. Like fucking Jesus Christ superstar poster. Great fucking uh, play. So here we are, guys on a stretcher, wonderful. Good Lord, man. Oh, notice men are doing that gig. Yep. Advice to remain closed. This advice continues, as does the police presence at... Who was that, the cunt that shot him? I haven't really even... I just woke up. ...around the country. The national threat level was raised to high. Got that stupid ass fucking curly Q drop. And is that the fucking album? I'm going to judge his jewelry now. If it's the shooter, I'm going to cut down his jewelry choices. And that remains. This triggers a number of actions. Trigger the fuck out of me, bitch. To help keep, keep people. <laughs> Don't write alliterated uh, script at all. You know, she's reading off a script. Honey, stay away from the alliteration. You're going to trip it up and become a stutter fuck. Safe. And, the, and the guy in the rights could not going to know how to compile that. Such as increased aviation and... I mean, the guy here with the hand signals. Are they arresting this guy? Is he the shooter? Holy fuck. Look at... People, we got the shooter here. I'll be one of those dumb fucks that comes out. Look, we got like... Uh, here we got one of these uh, crisis actors. He's a crisis... He's a crisis shooter. Lucky. He's acting like he's the shooter in Russian. Border security. A number of specialist family liaison staff were deployed. I love that word liaison. Could I be your liaison? You're so hot. Close liaison has been established. She said it again. Oh, my God. That is the dual shot drinking game. A shot per syllable. Liaison. 
established with the Muslim community and other key people in Christchurch. Police and the wider government will be with Christchurch. Could you be more blatant? Come kill us. I know it would do. And why can't the Ku Klux Klan exist? <laughs> why can't you wear a fu- if you were to have Church of KKK? Yeah, that's right, people. We're a nonprofit organization. We don't, we don't kill no people. We just show up with the white hats. I hate selling like Kevin, Kevin's Corner. I can only make up Kevin. I, be, I don't know people know who these people are, but yeah, that's what we do. Why can't I have a fucking? Well, you could have the. You could be a conehead, but from Saturday Night Live, but you can't be no fucking white. Did a little too spiky in that white hat. Working with leaders and members of the Islamic community to provide assistance, reassurance, and support. This must be the cunt that he's got a seashell from the seashore. Is this a shooter? And I-, I understand he streamed it on Facebook. A modern dickhead. 800 number established to register missing persons. I- persons. 800. Persons of interest. Oh. Well, she, I kind of like the, I, that's a hot look. Another chick with the gun. But she's a bruiser. I think she goes to the gym. I do think she's a, that's a dude. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. No. Now this guy, I want him to disarm the bomb. I can already see if I was going to hire, a, um, okay, the application. I mean, the guy's over 300 pounds on the bomb squad. Okay, let's get the lineup today, people. Roll call. 115019 and a website restoring family links. MFAT are acting as a liaison. That's the only thing they're good at is is we have the databases and we can tell your relatives that um, we fucked up. We didn't train our citizens to be, be vigilant. Eternal vigilance is the fucking answer, people point for foreign governments consular representation for any foreign nations i hope this isn't one of the victims uh, relatives i'm making fun of i'm so sorry i mean i hope this is the i don't even know what's going on i plead ignorance can i ignorance is no excuse of of youtube involved is being provided at this stage we involved understand those involved include pakistan oh i think i see what's going on here if that is the guy from the church it's like you know there's hot dudes that are in the church too turkey saudi arabia it's not just tall heads bangladesh indonesia and malaysia oh another thing i just want to say out the bat we're all human beings you know the, the idea is you decided to join a tribe because it makes you feel safe and important and we have our own special club yeah we have the what happened to the elks club Let's bring that back and learn learn people how to use guns at the Elks Club. Maybe maybe we should go over there and rescue these motherfuckers. I see these guys from New Zealand in the comment. They just stay in our country business, dude. We know how to run our country just fine. In fact, staff are dealing with offers of assistance. I hope I'm not offending. Fr- 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 I think it's um, Ratman. Ratman's watching. <laughs> I'm not offending you, but uh, Jesus, I can rescue your hot babes. And, of course, receiving a significant number of condolence messages. I'm sorry I chopped off the head of this guy this whole time. I'm so pissed off. I am so sorry. Uh, you're missing half the fucking... If, if his eyebrows are missing from this, how will redo it? Deputy Commissioner Māori and Ethnic Services Wally Homaha has travelled to Christchurch alongside 15 additional ethnic liaison officers to support... <laughs> ethnic liaison. Look at people, listen, step away from your tribal fucking shit. You're a fucking human being. Act like one. The community. There's we're all created equal, dude, until we fuck up. Or we're, or even if you're created with one eyeball, you're you if you have a heartbeat, you're alive. Okay? Shut the fuck up with this well our tribe and your tribe and those guys. You know I mean? Specialists will work alongside so Fuck I swear people are like two fucking years old. Local staff to support the families involved. Yeah. Get on it. Shut the fuck up. Get this guy. Get, get the, yeah, help people. You're the rescue team. That's your only job. But why are we ha- Why are we having this carnage? Oh, shit. That's the end of it? Anyways, I'm so sorry to go off topic. I couldn't resist. I just could not resist, man. I got up on the wrong side of bed today. Oh, well.
but it should happen sticker on that. Really, don't be afraid of guns, people. You know, uh, people kill people, not guns. That's why they outlawed, outlawed the, I think they outlawed the Lotus Esprit because it was such a low-profile car that it was cutting off people's legs and it could go higher, it could have got a higher speed limit on the sidewalk than any other car. That's the full auto. And that's automatic transmission too, don't forget. 